Well, hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day. I'm just uh, double checking to make sure everything is working correctly before we start this English lesson about snacks. I hope you don't get too hungry <laughs> during this lesson. Um it's possible though. And uh there was some concern that I would be teaching mostly unhealthy snacks but I will also be uh teaching words and phrases for healthy snacks. We'll get started in about 18 seconds. Just let me uh double check a couple more things. Looks good. I think we are ready to start in about eight seconds. Let's see here. There we go. Two, one. Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson about snacks. Now, as you go through your day, you usually eat two or three meals but in between those meals, sometimes you're hungry and you need something else to eat. You need something to eat uh because you can't wait for lunch or you can't wait for dinner. So, we call those little uh times where we eat, we call it snack time and it's a time where we eat snacks. When I was a little kid, I really liked snack time. I liked it when my mom said, hey, it's snack time. Do you want a snack? And then she would give me something yummy to eat but don't worry. I will talk about healthy snacks and unhealthy snacks. You can judge whether the snack I'm talking about would be something that would be good for you or if it's something that you probably shouldn't eat. But in this English lesson, I just want to welcome you one more time. Welcome to this English lesson about snacks. Before we get started, I did want to mention a few things. There will be a study pack for this lesson. If you check in the description below, there will be a link. It's not there yet. I haven't finished making the study pack yet but it should be there in a day. If you visit bobthecanadian.com, you will find a number of study packs and there will be one for this lesson in a day or so. Um I just need to take some time to make it. I do also wanna say hi to a whole lot of people. Hi to Key Park, Marwanto, Peter, Mode Eggs, Hamitra, Hafiez, Vitor, Lolly, Lolly, uh Clive, Mion, Natalia Illusion, Yaroslav, Stacy, BRJZ, Mode Eggs. Um oh yes, good guess mode. Mode guess that I got a haircut. I got a haircut this morning. I went outside and cut my hair and then Jen finished it off for me. Yeah, it was getting a little long. If you look at the thumbnail, I was getting I was starting to look a little shaggy I would say. Uh, hi to Hafiez, Freddie Wolf, uh, Rua, MD, Giovanni, CS team and everyone else who is here and Ruslan as well. Hi, Ruslan. Uh, good to see all of you and Julie, welcome to this lesson. Hey, if you are learning English, there's two things you can do during this lesson that will help you. One, you can listen to the lesson but number two, you can have fun English conversations with the other people in the chat. So, please um take some time to do that. Uh take some time to chat, type something, read what other people are typing. Uh, I do wanna say hi to Brent from Speak English with this guy who says, I don't have to work today. Interesting. Brent, do you work Fridays at all? <laughs> Is this like the second or third time this year already? I don't think I've gotten a Friday off but I did have this past Monday off so that was nice. Anyways, an English lesson about snacks should we get the lesson started? Let me double check to make sure I've done everything. I've hit record. I've obviously, I'm live streaming. I should double check to make sure. Yes, good. Everything seems to be working well. Let's get the lesson started. So, there are a couple of categories for snacks and I thought I would put them all on one slide. Generally, we describe snacks as being sweet, snacks that are made with sugar, things like donuts and cookies and chocolate. Those would be sweet snacks and then we have salty snacks. Things like chips which I think they call crisps in the UK or pretzels or even nuts sometimes have salt on them and then we have healthy snacks. This would be like a banana or an apple or a carrot. Those would be things you eat because you like healthy snacks and people generally fall into one of these categories. I know myself, I'm definitely someone who likes sweet snacks. Jen is someone who likes salty snacks. Um both of us try to eat as many healthy snacks as we can. I usually try to think to myself, okay, I'm hungry. I want a snack. Should I have a cookie 
or an apple and then I try to choose the apple but I'm not always successful. Anyways, in the chat, why don't you let me know what do you like? Sweet, salty, healthy? What's your preferred snack of choice? So, in Canada and I think this is probably true in the United States as well. The snack I see the most often at school is a granola bar. A granola bar is a bar which is usually sweet. It usually has chocolate chips in it. Sometimes it's coated in chocolate as well. Uh and it's made with um oats. It's made with rice, puffed rice. Um and it's just a really simple sweet snack. It comes in a box like the one you see in the picture and they come individually wrapped. If you remember the lesson Brent and I did about food, we talked about how some food comes individually wrapped. We would say that granola bars are a very convenient snack. You can grab and go. You can grab a granola bar and a banana and go to work and you have a little bit of uh of a lunch I guess. Two snacks I guess makes a lunch. But granola bars are very popular in North America as a snack choice. So, in the chat, we see people seeing I like salty. Uh I like can I have dark chocolate from Winnie? I love sweet snacks from Loka. Um let's see. I prefer salty and junky like junk food from Patricia. Yes, definitely. Uh chewy food from Vitor. Um yes, interesting. Salty licorice. So, if you're from northern Europe, you might like salty licorice. I like salted licorice. It's very good. Some people don't like it at all. So, we call these suckers but I guess the correct word would be lollipop. When my kids would go out for Halloween and go trick or treating, they would get different treats and one of the things they would get is they would get suckers. So, a sucker is like a candy on the end of a stick. That's how I would describe it. It's definitely sweet. Sometimes, it has something in the middle. It might have a different kind of candy in the middle but usually, a sucker or lollipop is a hard candy on a stick that is really easy for kids to eat and then usually, you get different flavors and it's interesting. We sometimes use colors to describe flavors like someone might say, oh, I like orange suckers. I like red suckers. So, they're using the color um because the flavor is really just sweet. They don't actually have real flavors. There's a bit of a fruit flavor to them but uh, definitely suckers or lollipops. A sweet and fun snack for kids. Uh adults usually don't eat them. Now, this is a newer snack in the last 10 or 20 years. They've become very popular with people who work out. So, when you eat a granola bar, you get a lot of sugar uh and you get some chocolate chips and some oats and some rice puffs or puffed rice but a protein bar has more protein in it. They usually put I don't know the different types of protein but a protein bar is good. If you go and lift weights, uh after you lift weights, people will sometimes eat a protein bar after they've gone to the gym because you need protein to build muscle in your body. So, a protein bar would be a very popular snack for someone who exercises a lot. Someone who exercises a lot would probably like eating protein bars as a snack to help their body kind of rebuild and um build muscle in their body. A donut is not healthy at all. (laughs) Excuse me. Hmm. I'll have to edit that out later. I'm not sure what happened there. A donut is fried dough. So, it's deep fried dough which is unhealthy in the first place and then with a topping usually chocolate or vanilla or some kind of topping. Now, there are donuts that also have things in it like pieces of apple in an apple fritter but I would say a donut is very unhealthy but also very, very yummy. Um there's a lot of calories in a donut. We call this a chocolate dip donut because after the donut was fried in oil, it was dipped in chocolate in order to get the chocolate icing on top Um, but I if you were to ask me I think I eat donuts about I was I was gonna say about two a month but maybe 
not once a week. I don't have a donut once a week. That that would be a lot. I think about every other week or so there's donuts at school and I might have a donut as a snack. Now, here we have some of the healthy snacks. So, they fall into two categories. Either you're eating fruit or vegetables. I'm gonna go back to the fruit. So, for me, I like having a banana as a snack and lately, I've been eating an apple in the afternoon as a snack. So, I go to work around 10 o'clock. I I'm a little bit hungry but I'm not ready for lunch and so, I'll eat a banana and then at lunch, I'll eat my lunch. In the afternoon, when I'm hungry, I'll eat an apple. So, I do like bananas and apples. In the winter, I do like to eat oranges as well. For some reason, oranges make me um feel pretty good in the winter. I think it's the vitamin C that you get from it. So, in terms of healthy snack, anything like fruit, uh any banana, apple, orange, tangerines, nectarines, peaches, all of those would be considered healthy snacks. We also have an unhealthy form of fruit and it's called a fruit roll up. This is I don't know if you've seen these but they dry fruit and sometimes mix it with other ingredients including sugar and they make it into a long it kind of looks like tape uh, and you can unroll it and you can eat it. These are very popular with kids as well. I still see even high school kids eating fruit roll-ups at school. Um I don't actually like them. I find them quite sticky like they stick to your teeth um but a fruit roll-up is kind of a an unhealthy replacement for actual fruit. If you go if you want fruit, you should eat actual fruit I think. And then we have dried fruit of course. Uh dried fruit like dried apples, dried we sometimes have um dried bananas, dried apricots, dried mangoes. Uh dried fruit is just fruit that has had the moisture removed and then it lasts for a long time. So, fresh fruit goes bad. Dried fruit is um able to it has a long shelf life we would say. So, dried fruit lasts a long time. Again, I'm talking about when food goes rotten. Fresh fruit goes bad. Fresh fruit rots after a week or two but dried fruit lasts a very, very long time. Hey, let's do some questions. Hopefully, this uh lesson is queued up and ready to go. Oh, there's a lot of questions here. Here we go. From Ruslan, hello, dear teacher Bob. How are you today, sir? Good. What are your favorite nuts to snack? Are cashew popular in Canada? Have a nice weekend, sir. Yeah, cashews are popular. Pecans, walnuts. Um in terms of nuts, almonds are probably the most popular and I do say almond. Some people in the US say almond. I think that's how they say it. I say almond. I pronounce the L. Um I would say almonds are my favorite snack and dark chocolate covered almonds would be my favorite um yeah, unhealthy way of eating almonds. From Renata, good morning, Bob. I think today's lesson will make some people hungry. Definitely. What do Canadians usually have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Have a great day. So, breakfast is quite commonly uh toast, maybe fruit, eggs, orange juice, um maybe bacon if it's the weekend. Um sometimes people just grab a breakfast sandwich at a fast food restaurant. So, that would be like a bagel with an egg on it or maybe a biscuit with an egg on it but um at our house um one of my kids eats oatmeal with yogurt and berries. Um I usually have some toast with an egg. Those would be common uh breakfast items. Hoong says, hi, Bob. When I was young, I loved eating sweetbread burgers. It made me fat. Now, I don't often eat snacks. Did you eat more snacks as a child? What was your favorite one? So, I'm switching is to was. Yes, as a child, I ate a lot of snacks but every snack I ate when I was a kid was homemade. That means my mom made the snacks. We didn't buy snacks from the store. So, my favorite snack would have been like homemade chocolate chip cookies. Those were really, really yummy. So, I think these days people in North America buy their snacks. They don't always make their snacks. From Eric, good day, teacher Bob. What's the difference between bits and bites? Thank you for taking your time for answering it. Clearly, love your live lessons. So, if I'm going to eat a little bit of a snack, it means I'm gonna eat a small 
part of it. If I'm going to have a bite, I'm going to literally take a bite. So, in terms of snacks, that's how I would define those two. From Natalia, the internet says that shawarma is a snack. Have you ever tried shawarma? Do you know how to cook it? I have had it quite often. I love living in Canada because when you go to the mall or when you go to the food court in the mall, there are many food options and they're often um more than just hamburgers and fries. So, yes, I've had shawarma. I might not be saying it right. Shawarma. Uh please correct me. Um send me a little audio clip of how to say it correctly. But yes, definitely super super tasty. Um from Lonely Bee. Hey, Bob. Question one. What do you think are the best airport snacks to pack? Question two. What kind of snacks are popular in Canada? Love your lessons. Have a lovely day. So, at the airport, I think like small bags of nuts. Something that is really dense but high protein I think is really really good. So, a protein bar would be a good snack to bring I think if you were going to the airport. Um let's see here. In the UK, ice lolly is the US popsicle. How do you say that in Canada? Merci, Bob. I forgot to put popsicle on the list. I don't have a slide for that. That's a great one though, lolly lolly. So, a popsicle is a frozen treat and we call them popsicles. So, it can be any color or flavor. Um in fact, yesterday at school, my students, um there were some leftover popsicles from an event earlier last week. So, I brought popsicles to my class. They really really like them. Let's see. I'm gonna skip the next one because it's not on topic. Um next one is from Sophia. Hello, dear teacher Bob. Have you ever tried a snack from Czech Republic named Dalnik? It's sweet with cinnamon and sugar. Very tasty. I would I have not but I would eat that. Anything with sugar and cinnamon, I would be very happy to eat. Um let's see. Make sure uh that the questions are on topic or I will skip them, okay? So, make sure that they are questions about snacks. Peter says, hi, Mr. Bob. Hello, Mr. Bob. I really like salty and healthy snacks. My question, do you like snacks? Can you tell Mr. Brett what time is the live stream and what day is? You have a nice day. Um I I'm I think Brett's doing a live stream tomorrow. I actually don't know but uh, I'm sure we can figure it out. Um if he's in the chat, he can uh, shout out what his schedule is for this coming week. Uh remember, I only answer questions that are on topic. So, make sure that your question is on topic on topic. Um so, today's topic is snacks. From Tanya, do you have a pastry in Canada made like a donut but without a hole in the middle filled with jam and topped with sugar? Yes, and we still call it a donut. We call it a filled donut. So, you can get donuts with jam inside. You can get donuts with cream inside like a whipped cream. It's called a Boston cream. Lots of fun. Um let's see here. In the chat, Stacey says, I like to eat overnight oatmeal for breakfast. I haven't tried this but it's where you make the oatmeal in the fridge overnight. Put some yogurt into the oatmeal and it turns delicious. That sounds really cool. Um I have not tried durian. I see Hafia is talking about it. Um, I heard that it smells a little bit. Uh let's see here. Um I'm gonna jump back to the questions. Here we go. From Amran. Hi, Bob. What is the difference? Gonna add a the there between snacks and biscuits. So, snacks are any food you eat between meals. So, after breakfast, an hour after breakfast, I might have a snack. Biscuits for me are um something made from flour and water and um a type of fat and they're more like an American biscuit. Uh I think in the UK, biscuits are what I call cookies. So, if you look up American biscuit on Google images, that's what I call a biscuit. It's a specific type of uh food. Uh Kaka Chen says, hi, teacher Bob. What's the difference between donuts and bagel? Have a nice day. So, a donut is more of a sweet treat, a sweet snack. A bagel is made from flour and water and salt and yeast and it's more of a bread. Okay. So, a bagel, you might eat a bagel for breakfast with an egg on it. Um and it's it's more it's just a different way 
to, you know, we have flatbread and we have sliced bread and we have bagels and we have buns. Those are all basically made from flour. They're different types of bread products. Uh let's see here. Gonna get back to the lesson now. Hobart though says, morning to your teacher Bob. What's the main food in Canada? Bread or the others? Do Canadians have rice noodles? Thanks in advance. Yes, we have every kind of food because Canada is made up of people from every part of the world but I would say bread is a very popular food item in Canada. Probably one of the most popular um and all the different forms of bread as well. We have something called a fruit cup. This is fruit usually in a sweet syrup that's also um ready to eat. So, if you don't want to keep fresh fruit in your house because it does go bad, you might have fruit cups in your cupboard and they're they're sized. We would call this um like a single serving. It's enough for one person. So, sometimes you have um like tangerine slices in a fruit cup or you might have peach peaches chopped up peaches in a fruit cup. That would be very popular or pears as well but just another way to eat fruit. A very convenient way to eat fruit but also with added sugar. You might eat vegetables. Probably the two most common vegetable snacks would be baby carrots. On the far side, you'll see a bag of baby carrots. Baby carrots are very tiny carrots. So, they're just um they're really handy and easy to eat. Or you might cut celery up into sticks and take celery sticks. When I look around um my staff room at lunch, a lot of people eat baby carrots or they might eat sliced cucumber. That's very popular as a snack or celery sticks. All very very common and popular snacks. Um healthy snacks. I really like chocolate chip cookies. These are chocolate chip cookies. Cookies for me are any kind of flat sweet snack um usually having chocolate chips in it. Sometimes they have nuts in it. Sometimes there's two cookies with something in the middle like an Oreo cookie but any kind of small sweet sweet snack um we usually call a cookie. Sometimes they're crunchy and sometimes they're soft but they're usually delicious. Almost always delicious. We have something in Canada and in North America called a brownie. I'm not sure if this is popular in other parts of the world. Uh, a brownie is a mixture of flour and cocoa and sugar and oil and then it's baked and it makes this really soft and tasty and yummy chocolate um square. We usually cut them into squares. I had a lot of brownies when I was a kid. My mom liked to make brownies. They were very very yummy. So, this is a muffin and I'll talk about cupcakes later. Muffins and cupcakes look very similar. The theory is that muffins are healthier. Muffins usually don't have icing or frosting on top and muffins sometimes are made with healthy ingredients. This is a chocolate chip muffin. It's not that healthy but you can have carrot muffins. You can have zucchini muffins. You can have um There's a um you can have blueberry muffins. So, a muffin is kind of a small almost like a cake but sort of healthy. Again, this one is not really healthy. I think a blueberry muffin would be healthier than a chocolate chip muffin. But if you go to a cafe or if you go to a coffee shop, you can order donuts. You can order muffins and they'll probably have a wide selection. When you go to a party, probably a very common snack to see at a party would be cheese and crackers. So, cheese is obviously this dairy product on the close side here and on the far side, you'll see really uh, thin crunchy what we call crackers. Crackers are usually a salty snack um and they taste really good with cheese on them. So, cheese and crackers are a pretty common thing to see if you go to a party. When we go to a Christmas party, often we will bring a vegetable tray and we'll bring some cheese and crackers. You know, different people bring different food. We often bring cheese and crackers. Very easy 
to make and very easy to bring to someone's house. So, I think in the UK they call these crisps. We call them chips or potato chips. Um they are made from thinly sliced potatoes that are then deep fried in really hot oil. We don't make potato chips though. We buy them in bags at the grocery store or from wherever you buy snacks. Like you can buy you can buy chips at the gas station. You can buy chips from a vending machine. You can buy chips at the grocery store and they are super yummy. Jen really likes chips. As I mentioned though, I actually like sweet snacks better but I will eat chips. They're quite yummy and sometimes people use dip. They might have a dip that they dip the chip in. The dip might be made from yogurt. It might be made from sour cream. It might be made from salad dressing mixed with mayonnaise and sour cream. Like there's all different ways to make dips. Sometimes the dip will have onions or chives in it. Um I'm not a big fan of dip. Um I like chips but I'm not I know then then when you start dipping them they get extra unhealthy I think. <laughs> we also have tortilla chips and salsa. I think I mentioned this in another lesson. Um when I was a teenager um a friend of mine had a bag of tortilla chips and had salsa and I had never had either before. Uh, and I love them. We have tortilla chips in our house all the time. So, tortilla chips are made from corn, sometimes from wheat um and they are a crispy salty chip that you can dip into salsa. Salsa is made from tomato and onion and cilantro. It's a it's just a really yummy thing to dip tortilla chips into. I really really like salsa. Pretzels. So, pretzels are another salty snack. They're um usually made from flour and water. So, you make a dough and then you either bake or fry the pretzel. I think they're usually baked. I'm not a pretzel expert but one of the things that pretzels do have is you can see the salt on the outside of the pretzel. It usually has really really big pieces of salt and um a hot pretzel with mustard is uh quite yummy. That is my preferred way to eat pretzels. So, again, another snack that's made from flour and water um but also pretzels have a very unique taste. Um I do like pretzels but some people don't like the taste of pretzels. Jerky. So, sometimes people will dry and salt meat to preserve it and this is called jerky. Most of the jerky here is beef jerky. You can buy beef jerky anywhere. Literally anywhere. Like you can buy beef jerky at the farmer's market. You can buy beef jerky at the gas station. You can buy beef jerky uh, at the grocery store. You can buy beef jerky from a vending machine. So, it's dried strips of usually beef. That's the type of meat they use and they put a lot of salt on it and they dry it. So, um some people really like this as a snack. I don't mind it. I find it quite tough. Like it's hard to chew but uh definitely if you ever are in the United States or Canada, you can find jerky everywhere. Pudding. So, these are pudding cups. Um pudding is like a soft sweet. It's it's almost creamy. Um I like chocolate pudding. Um when you eat it, you eat it with a spoon. These are similar to um the fruit cups. These are single serving uh chocolate pudding cups. So, you take a chocolate pudding cup to work or to school and you peel off the lid and then inside there's this yummy in this case yummy chocolate. It's like almost like a chocolate mousse like a chocolate cream. Very very sweet. Very very tasty. Very very yummy. And then of course, there's popcorn. My favorite thing about popcorn is making it. I don't actually like popcorn that much. I do like caramel corn though when they put a lot a sweet coating of caramel on the corn. But anyways, there is a certain kind of corn where the kernel. So, those are corn kernels on the bottom there. The small what are actually the corn seeds. The corn kernels when heated with oil will pop and then they will look like this which is popcorn. Popcorn is usually eaten 
when watching TV or when watching movies. In Canada and in the United States, if you go to the movie theater, it's very common for people to buy a big bag of popcorn when they go to watch the movie. Um and popcorn is usually a salty snack but for me, I as I said, I like sweet popcorn. I like popcorn that has uh caramel on it. Very, very, very yummy and very, very tasty. Jen likes popcorn with salt and most of my kids do too. Oh, and butter. Salt and butter on the popcorn. Hey, let's go to members only chat. For those of you that are new here, members only chat is a time when members are able to ask questions directly in the chat. We also might start calling this uh members only chat slash the time when the time during the live stream when Bob wears his reading glasses. <laughs> That'll be the new name for it but hey, if you are a member, you can ask questions right in the chat and I will continue to ask questions here or answer questions here uh but if you are new here, don't leave. The lesson will continue in a bit. Next up is candy and maybe ice cream and chocolate bars. We'll see. Loka says, in Taiwan, people often incorporate pineapple into their dishes such as pineapple shrimp balls and Hawaiian pizza which includes pineapple. So, we often have we use pineapple with ham. So, not as a snack but people will cook ham with pineapple because the flavors go together. Uh and that's also why I think pineapple pizza here has ham and pineapple on it. Very, very yummy. But yes, you use what's available, don't you? For sure. From Fatima, how do they fill a donut? Is it done before frying or baking or afterwards? It's done afterwards. So, they they'll take the donut and then they'll make a hole and then they'll stick a thing in and squeeze it and it will put the filling into the donut. That's how they do it. From Natalia Illusion, could you please explain what cold cuts means? Is it salami, sausages or just any cold meat? So, for me, cold cuts are um we call them luncheon meat as well but it's thinly sliced meat to put on sandwiches. So, if you go to Subway, that's where you can get like um subs which is a a type of sandwich, right? There's one called a cold cut combo and it has sliced ham and sliced bologna and sliced salami on it, I think. So, cold cuts are thinly sliced meats. I'm trying to think of like we call them luncheon meat. We call them cold cuts um but it's meat that's been um not preserved but yeah, I don't know the correct word for it. Um it's not smoked. Um I can't think of it. Anyways, it's meat that's been uh cooked and mixed with ingredients that help it last a long time. Um from Hafiez, the amount of sugar on caramel popcorn is really yummy. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar on it. Uh Naomi says, my favorite snack is baked sweet potatoes. So, sweet potatoes here um what started to catch on are sweet potato fries. Those are French fries made with sweet potatoes. Those are becoming more popular. Brent from Speak English with this guy says, butter makes everything better. <laughs> yes. Uh <laughs> that's for sure. Natalia Illusion says, can kefir, yogurt or sour cream, dairy products without additives be considered snacks? Yes. So, I th- that's actually good that you mentioned that. I didn't create a slide with yogurt but I have the fruit cup, the pudding cup and there's also yogurt that comes in the same single serving size. Yes, I should have put that in. I'll make notes. I might add those to the study pack. Um what was it? It was uh I forget what the other one was that someone mentioned. Can someone remind me what was the other snack I didn't have on the list? It was yogurt and I should have written it down. Was that from Lolly? I'll go back in the chat and find it. Um Yaroslav, when do you usually have a snack time in Canada? So, if you work in Canada, you have a coffee break in the morning and you have a coffee break in the afternoon. Um a coffee break is usually around 10 a.m. and around 2 30 or 3 p.m. and that's usually when people would have a snack. At school, students have what's called recess. At recess, you take a break from your studies and you go outside and play and that's when students would usually have a snack. Tanya says, would you say that cookies, brownies and muffins all belong to the pastry family? Did I get that right? You could say that. We would probably say baked goods. So, when I think of pastry, I think of 
things that are more fancy than that. So, we would probably call them baked goods. Um you're not incorrect though. Pastry is correct. Um like if you went to a pastry shop, you would probably be able to find cookies and brownies and all that. But the general term would probably be baked goods. Like if I go to a party and bring baked goods, people know I'm probably bringing cookies and brownies and all those kinds of things. Natalia says, it's cool to write to the chat at any time. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. You were gifted a membership last week. Very cool. Okay. Let's see here. New words with MP has gifted a membership. Excellent. Mode says, Tanya Kramer. I heard that the pretzels in Germany are huge. I should go and have a pretzel in Germany someday. Uh and Kaka Chen has a membership from New Words with MP. Thanks, New Words with MP for that gift. That is awesome. Vitor says, do you think if you and your family were living in the city, you are going to eat more snacks? Probably. Um I actually worked at a different school once in a larger city and I definitely ate more snacks when I was in that city. Lolly says, my favorite snacks? Guess what? Lollies, lollipops and the ice lolly of course. Oh, that was the other one. Um um sorry. I <laughs> now I can't remember the name. <laughs> yes. What's the uh, Canadian word for ice lolly? Um popsicle. There we go. Yes. My brain's not working. For- I need a snack. I need more sugar. Half yes. I I love potatoes in any kind of dish involving potatoes. As Samwise Gamgee says, potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Lovely big golden chips with a nice piece of fried fish. Potatoes are definitely well loved around the world. Um Eugene from Automation Secure Home says, I like grilling the raw shrimp as snacks. Oh, that would be yummy. Yes. Uh popsicle. Thanks, Naomi. Uh ice lolly popsicle. There we go. Thanks, people, for helping me out. Tanya Kramer says, mowed eggs. That's true, but I don't like salty food. Oh, yes, about the pretzels in Germany. Uh let's see here. Small pretzels are fake pretzels to a German. Yes, you can buy pretzels in a bag in Canada. In the grocery store, you can buy pretzels in a bag which some people consider not pretzels at all. Um hi to Key Park. Freddie Wolf says, the pretzel shape is used to picture a region in France because the pretzel is oh, the pretzel are originally from where I live. Oh, very cool. Very cool, Freddie. Uh let's see. Um let me get a question from the form. Uh where are we here? Questions. Gabriella. Hi, Bob. I wanted to know, have you ever tried Argentinia, Argentinian alfajore? No, I have not. But uh Brent and I, maybe we'll do another snack video next summer. Maybe when I visit Brent. Maybe Brent can go and buy all kinds of snacks and we'll see um what they taste like. Uh from no gray no. Hello, Bob. How's the weather over here? Um well, over here, the weather is beautiful. It's sunny outside and it's not warm. It's cool but it's beautiful fall weather. Do you like Cheetos as a snack? Yes. So, Cheetos are like um we call them cheese puffs or Cheetos uh or cheesies. We call them in Canada but it's like a small it's almost like a I don't know how to say it like a tube but it's got cheese powder on it. Um and do you have snacks that you consider to be comfort food? Anything with chocolate for me is comfort food for sure. From cried this morning. What's the weirdest snack you have ever eaten? Secret. The fact that American snack on celery celery sticks is really bizarre to me. Why? Well, have you tried it? Celery sticks with cheese. Celery sticks with peanut butter. They're all that's all yummy. Um and then uh just the celery itself is quite tasty. It must be a cheap vegetable to snack on. Um that's what I think. Let's see here. Sorting through the questions. Remember, I only answer questions that are on topic. So, here we go from Stacy. Hi, teacher Bob. Have you ever tried sweet potato latte cakes or pizza? In Korea, we put sweet potatoes in almost all our food. So, the vendor beside me at market when we sell flowers at the farmer's market, his his booth is called Sweet Potato Johnny's and he makes all different cakes with sweet potato and we love them. So, we buy some every week and uh, it's quite quite tasty. Um let's see. Hafia, celery sticks and carrot sticks with peanut butter. Yes. 
Um, no, Naomi asks, what is your guilty pleasure food, everyone? Yeah, so for me, it would be anything with chocolate. I'm curious to see what others say in the chat. Um, let's see. So, not on topic but Eldo says, hi, Bob the Canadian. Lovely to see you. I don't have any questions. I have just an idea. It would be great if you will create a website or group where we can talk and chat. So, yes, I've never done this because I only want to do things that I can do well and take care of and I don't have time to moderate an area where people who are my viewers chat. So, if if anyone wants to make one, they can definitely make one but I I I can't um I don't have time to start that. Uh let's see here. Moat says, oh nice, Freddie Wolf. Now, you owe me some pretzels and tart flambe from your region. We should all visit each other's regions and eat each other's snacks someday. That would be fun. Um from Ario. Hi, Ario. Ah, late again. Hello, Mr. Bobby. Chips are a yummy snack. The snack is so fit when we watch a movie. We have those chips on our side. The best snack ever. Any favorite? Yeah, it's nice to have a bowl of chips when watching a movie. I like sour cream and onion flavored chips. That is my preferred chip flavor. I really, really enjoy those. Okay. Let's have a sip of water and get back to the lesson. Let me make sure the camera's focusing. Let me sip my water close to the microphone so everyone can hear it. Lolly says, I prefer savory food. Yes, for sure. Um there's a kind of popcorn called Chicago mix which has salty cheesy popcorn mixed with sweet caramel popcorn. Jen and I really like that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I say charcuterie. In English, you say charcuterie. So, if you and we do use that. You can get a charcuterie board at a restaurant. It's a board with meats and cheeses on it. Um so charcuterie but English people would say charcuterie with this really strong English accent. Um okay. Let me get back to the lesson. We'll finish this off and I'll let you guys go on your way. Oh, we have quite a few left. Candy. Candy is any kind of small sweet snack or treat. It would probably be considered more of a treat than a snack. A snack is something you eat every day. A treat is something you eat every once in a while. When I was a kid, my grandma always had candies in her purse. When my grandma came to visit, she would give us candies. Candies can be hard or soft but they are definitely sweet and there's all different flavors. My favorite kind of candy Or one of my favorite kinds of candy would be jelly beans. I like jelly beans a lot. Those are fun. Different all the different flavors. Uh this though would be my favorite snack. Like it okay, you don't eat chocolate bars every day but sometimes I have chocolate every day. Um in Canada, we call these chocolate bars. In other parts of the world, they might be candy bars. Um and they're things like Snickers bars, Mars bars. Um what else is there? We have one called Mr. Big. (laughs) That's kind of a funny name now that I think about it. Uh we have Kit Kat is probably one of the most popular types or a Hershey bar but it is of course a sweet snack. Sometimes it's just chocolate. Sometimes it's chocolate with caramel or chocolate with nuts or chocolate with nuts and caramel. There are a whole bunch of different chocolate bars or candy bars in the world or it might have a cookie wafer on the inside as well um but definitely Uh, chocolate bars are a very, very popular um snack. And then ice cream. So, I eat too much ice cream. We always have ice cream at our house. It's in the freezer, of course. Ice cream is a frozen snack. It's made from milk. It's made from milk or cream and sugar um and it's just very, very tasty. There are a lot of different flavors. I like any of the flavors that have chocolate in them. I think mint chocolate chip would be one of my favorites. It's a mint, a green mint flavored ice cream with chocolate chips in it and of course, you can eat ice cream in a bowl or you can have an ice cream cone. So, again, a really sweet snack made from milk and cream and sugar that uh, people do really enjoy and then sometimes you have toppings. I, I think I did a whole lesson on toppings once, didn't I? Um but things you put on top. Sometimes people will have ice cream in a bowl 
and they'll put chocolate syrup or chocolate sauce on top. They might put chocolate chips on top or some nuts. Cake. So cake is usually, it's a baked sweet product made from flour and eggs and uh, water and chocolate and other flavors. You can have vanilla cake. You can have chocolate cake. Um, and usually cake will have icing or frosting on top. So you'll have the cake. You'll bake the cake in the oven. When the cake has cooled off, you will put a layer of really sweet icing or a um frosting on top um and that makes the cake super yummy. Sometimes there's icing in the middle of the cake too. They might cut the cake into layers and then it's a layer cake and put icing in the middle. I do like cake. But it's a little bit too sweet for me sometimes, cake. I'm not uh, I'm not a like I like birthday cake. It's traditional to have a cake um to celebrate someone's birthday but it's not always something I enjoy. I like ice cream better and cookies and stuff like that. A cupcake is just a small cake for one person. It's exactly the same. There's no difference between a cake and a cupcake except the size and usually cupcakes are cuter. I do however like pie. So pie, this would be considered pastry as well. Pie has a crust and a filling. I like apple pie. Apple pie is my although there is chocolate pie too. Anyways, I like apple pie. Um so there is a thin crust on the bottom. Um so the crust is made from flour and some type of oil and sugar and uh and then in the middle there's cooked fruit like uh cooked apples with sugar or something sweet but um I'm trying to think. There are meat pies as well. I do like those but as a snack, I do like a piece of pie. Apple pie is good. Apple pie with ice cream is really good uh or lemon meringue pie is good as well. Fudge. So, how do I describe fudge? Fudge is a very rich snack. Fudge is made from chocolate cocoa or chocolate and usually condensed milk. So, milk that has been turned almost into like a milk syrup um but fudge is very rich. When I say rich, I mean like there's a lot of sugar and fat in a piece of fudge. You can't eat more than one or two small pieces of fudge. Like I could eat an entire chocolate bar but if I was having fudge, I would have one or two pieces. And again, as with a lot of snacks, there's many different flavors. Uh so there's some that have nuts, some that don't, some that um some are vanilla flavored, some are chocolate flavored but fudge is definitely a fun snack. Usually, you find fudge here in Canada. You don't usually buy fudge at a store. Usually, when you go to a festival or a fair, there will be a booth where someone sells fudge. That's the common place to buy fudge. Very yummy. Nuts. So, I could have included this as one of the healthy snacks although most of the nuts that you buy to eat here are roasted and salted which might make them a little bit less healthy. As I mentioned earlier, I like almonds but I like raw almonds. You can also have roasted almonds roasted and salted almonds or chocolate covered almonds which I also like a lot but generally, we have almonds at our house. We have unsalted raw almonds. Those are yummy. I really like those but a good snack. A lot of protein um and uh very easy to carry around. Although, we do need to be careful because sometimes schools will have there'll be like no nuts are allowed because someone at the school might have a nut allergy. So, the general term for all of this is snack food uh and in fact, if you go to a grocery store, there is a snack food aisle in Canada but snack food would be the general term for anything you eat as a snack. You know, when I sit down for a snack, I might have a granola bar. I might have a banana. I might have a few nuts. Um I might have an apple. I might have a couple cookies. We would call all of that snack food as opposed to foods you eat for a meal. You know, you have breakfast food and lunch food and supper food. This is food you eat as a snack and I think the picture has most of them in it. Crackers, 
pretzel sticks, candies, chips, popcorn. Is there popcorn at the front there? It's kind of hard to see actually. I think that's popcorn. Yeah, it looks like it. Some crackers. The chocolate at the very back. You see the chocolate covered nuts at the very back? That looks that looks the most appetizing to me. Again, you can buy it at the snack food aisle in the grocery store. You might just call it the snack aisle. Like where are the snacks? And then they'll say, oh, they're down there and you'll see bags of chips and cookies and all that kind of stuff. Usually, there's the snack food aisle has chips, candies. Sometimes, the cookies are in a different aisle but it definitely will also have pop or soda in the snack food aisle in our store. And then, of course, if you're at maybe you're at an arena or maybe you're at some sort of event, there will probably be vending machines somewhere that sell snacks as well. So, always nice to um if you have a little bit of extra money on you or you can just use your watch or phone or bank card, you can go to a vending machine and get a little snack. And I think almost everything I mentioned would be in there as long as it doesn't need to be frozen. Like a vending machine would have chips. It would have little cookies in packages. It would have um it wouldn't have fudge. It might have might even have beef jerky in it for sure. Nuts. Those kinds of things. Hey, that's the lesson. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun to talk about snacks. I'm very hungry right now. I did eat breakfast. I actually was scarfing down breakfast right before the lesson started. Um but uh yes, I'm definitely hungrier now. I'm going to uh finish off the questions. So, let me see. We got two questions left. Um first one from Anna. Hello, Bob. I could speak with local people in English every day when I was traveling in Vietnam. Awesome. My question is that people in Canada have donuts at breakfast sometimes. It's more of a snack but sometimes people will grab a coffee and a donut on the way to work. But the uh the places that years ago sold coffee and donuts learned that they should start selling breakfast sandwiches as well and croissants and bagels and other things. So, if I go through the drive through on the way to work, I might buy a decaf coffee and a breakfast sandwich or a decaf coffee and a croissant or croissant. Sorry, French people. Croissant. Just sounds really when I say it with the normal English accent, it doesn't sound right. Um so, yes, I think 20, 30 years ago, people would have coffee and a donut for breakfast some t- sometimes. Usually, if they went through a drive through but now, people are more likely to get an actual breakfast item. Um from Eva, just had dinner with my family and thinking about what to have for a snack. Thank you, Bob, for accompanying our family dinners on Fridays. No problem. Sometimes I forget about the time difference around the world but uh yes, it's definitely supper time in some places, isn't it? Hey, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pop this on the screen and I am gonna talk for a bit. Uh there will be a study pack for this lesson at bobthecanadian.com. It probably won't be there till later today. I'm trying to think through my weekend but it'll definitely be there by the end of the day Saturday. Um and I will try to add popsicle and yogurt to that study pack so that that's in there. Um that might be a surprise for some people because I didn't actually teach those two in the lesson. Um and I do wanna say thanks to everyone who's here. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks to my members especially for being members of the channel. Thanks for keeping the lesson on topic. I do like it when people can stay focused and uh, if you're one of the people who you're maybe you're new, there is a subscribe button somewhere over here. Please click it and you will get notified when I do a new lesson. Anyways, let me say bye to folks. Bye to Hafiez, Vitor, M. He, uh, Serenrat, Ario, Naomi, Lolly Lolly, Sophia. Uh, Sophia says, wow, such an amazing lesson, dear teacher Bob. I'm definitely hungry now and I'm going to have some snacks. Thanks a lot and have a great weekend ahead. Bye teacher, dear teacher and bye everyone. No problem. Hafia says, with over five million vending machines in Japan, there's about one vending machine for every 23 people in the country. That's cool. I I like vending machines. They're kind of fun. Key Park says, once this class finishes, all of us rush to the kitchen. Yeah, probably. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, bye to Fatima, Kakachen, Key Park, uh, Wilma, Abdallah, Held, uh, Helton. Uh, let's see here. Um, Huri, 7413. 
CS team, Ismail, Yaroslav, Freddie Wolf, Stacy, Natalia, Lolly Lolly, Kamkun. Bye everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Uh, let me just double check the question form. All done there. Mode says, thanks Mr. Bob. I forgot to ask about the word tantalize. Yes. So, it's when something's tantalizing, it means that you would really, really like it. So, um let's see here. With snacks, I would say I find chocolate very tantalizing, right? It's like just seeing if I was in a meeting and someone brought food and put it on the side and the meeting was still happening, I would find that very tantalizing, right? I would be like, oh, I just wanna eat that. Um so, it's something that excites your senses. I am looking up the definition as I say it to make sure I have it right. Um anyways, bye Ruslan, Christian, Hobart, uh Tanya. I think I'm gonna see Tanya tomorrow. I think you're one of the people coming tomorrow for the live Zoom session. I should send the uh yes, I should probably send out the uh the information for that. Anyways, thanks everybody. Have a good day. Bye.